Hi, um, so I am here for another episode of Recipe Week, and I am going to be making twice-baked potatoes. So what we're going to need are um, mini potatoes, the ones, probably the round ones are the best, um, bacon, green onion, and sour cream, and I like Easy Way and it's got pre shredded cheese, but you're going to want quite a bit of cheese if you want it to be really good. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash the potatoes, and then I'll show you how I lay them out in the pan. Um, preheat your oven to 375 for this part. We're going to bake the potatoes, and then while they're baking, we're going to prepare all the other ingredients, and I'll show you, I guess, that along the way. So, okay, so now I'm back and I have my, my potatoes washed and I put some tin foil on a pan. Just a little bit of drizzle so that they don't stick. I'm going to spread it around with the potato. Okay, and then I'm just going to lay my potatoes out on the pan and then they're going to go in the oven. Um, it doesn't matter if it's heated or not yet. You're just going to put them in there and keep an eye on them. It might take 20 minutes, half an hour. I'm not sure yet. But once I'm able to put a fork in them, that's when I'm going to take them out for the next step. But while you're doing this, just you'll prepare the bacon and cut up the green onions, okay? So I'm going to go put it in the oven and bring you over to the stove, okay? Okay, so I have five pieces of bacon that I'm going to cook. Um, over a medium heat. Okay, so I am going to cut the bacon up. Okay, and then I'm going to take all of my nicely chopped bacon and I'm going to put it on this plate for later. Okay, so I have three things of green onion. Okay. Can you go? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use the super green parts because they're annoying. So it's cause they're grow. They're they're all all So you're going to thinly slice. Okay, and then I'm just going to put it on the same plate as the bacon. Oh. See, that's what I have. Mm. Here's my face. Or so I'm going to come back when all the potatoes are done. I'll check them now. So I have a fancy trick for cutting these potatoes better. And also so fancy, huh? burn your hand. Fancy, huh? So you Nailed take them. it in your thing, put them like this, get them centered. You're going to cut the three potatoes all at once and you don't burn your hand and you cut more wow, faster oh so fast let me do it so if you find your potatoes aren't soft enough just stick them in the microwave on a microwave safe dish um, for a few minutes and they'll soften up okay next step are you ready go okay so when the potatoes are cool enough to touch I'm gonna show you very carefully um, so um, okay <laughs> you're going to scrape around these are still pretty hot. Um, I think it's focusing you can, on me. You can wait and cool them. So you're just going to scrape around and get the potato innards out. And I'll show you what it looks like after I've scraped it. You can use any spoon you want. Oh, it's hot. I know. So you want to kind of 
leave around the edge um, a it's little bit. It's not rocket bit, science. They're just so that they don't fall cooking. apart. And then we're going to place them on our pan. Okay, so after you've scraped them all out, you're going to put them all in a pan like this. And then you're going to take your potato mixture and you're probably going to put a bunch of cheese um, however much you want. So I'm probably going to do one, two, three, four, five, five spoonful. So that's what it looks like with the sour cream and the cheese. And then make it to your taste. But I we're gonna add in the bacon and the green onion. Add Woo! as much as you want. You take your little potato and you stuff it in. This is the messy part. But that's good, right? Just like that. Till it's looped, it's like plopped on top. And we'll come back when it's all done. <laughs> okay, so you want them all to be face up on the pan. Like so. And then you are going to put some cheese on each Sprinkle one of them. On. We'll be back. When they're in the oven, just do it until the cheese is melted and you think they're all warm and through, okay? Okay, so to make the sour cream sauce, you're going to take your sour cream, however much you think you need for sauce for um, however much we made, and you're going to get those, like, chipotle, like, chili things that no, you, you can, can find in a jar, sour. and you get maybe, like, one or two of them, depending on how, how spicy you want it, and then you, like, cut it up really tiny, mix you it. put it in your sour cream, and you mix, <laughs> and it is... Onyx. Amazing. It is amazing. Here's the final product and the sauce. I'm going to take a potato and dip a little bit of the sauce. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. Try them out. <laughs>